Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of I Got You, you Hooked, Don't I? Uh, to the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we will be drinking a beer from Burdock. It's my last beer from the Burdock Brewing Company. Thank you very much, Greg, for picking this up. This is Burdock's IPA. This is 7.3% alcohol by volume. There is the bottle. Awesome. Alrighty. Let's put her here. Let's open her up. Ugh, I can't even get on. It's a personal problem, you know. I can't find the hole. I still can't believe I screwed up nine reviews, and they were all good reviews, too. They were things like Tyrannosaurus Screw It and Embitterment IPA and a bunch of other beers that I'll never get again in my life. And I fucked the reviews up. I can't believe I did that. Well, I can. I can believe I did it. But I'm frustrated that I did it. I'm frustrated that I accidentally deleted them. But nothing I can do about it now. I tried to uh, retrieve them and they were all... They were all fucked up. Those are all fucked up. Lots of bright white head. Nice golden color. Nice looking beer. Smell. Dare I say I think there's galaxy hops in this? It, it just smells... You know what? Here's the thing. We always talk about beer styles being trendy, you know, what beer styles is the new trend in this and that. But more so than beer styles, hops are trendy. And this is made with trendy hops. Uh, a lot of IPAs lately have been trendy hops. I just drank an IPA from uh, Reinhard, the Kapow West Coast IPA, that tasted like a hundred other IPAs I've had. This smells like a hundred other IPAs I've had. A little bit of mango, a little bit of just citrus, uh, grapefruit, tiny touch of pine. Yeah, mango, pine, grapefruit, lemon, nice malty note. Just, it's it smells like a lot of other IPAs out there. I mean, in the in a world where there's as many beers as there are just in Ontario, and as many breweries as there are in Ontario, and as many breweries as there are around the U.S., and as many beers, period, there are. It's hard to come up with something completely new nowadays, but it just seems like, at least in the style of the IPA, that a lot of them are so close together. Cheers, let's try it. Yeah. It's a good beer. But I've had it from 30 different breweries. A little piney, a little bit of resininess, a uh, little bit of mango, a little bit of grapefruit, uh, a little bit of lemon skin, uh, a little bit of orange, a little bit of uh, mango. Nice, a nice malt forefront. Resin, resin, uh... A little bit of pininess and a little bit of of uh, citrus rind is what sits on the back of my palate. On the front of my palate was was malt and sweet citrus taste. It it is a good beer, but again, I've had it millions of times. Now it is 7.3% alcohol. Don't think I'd be able to tell that. So, excuse me, it would be a very, very dangerous beer. Um, nothing else to really say about it. It's fine. Um, I could give it a 6 or I could give it a 7. Because, I mean, either way, there's nothing wrong with it. It's worth a try. It's just... Again, like I said, it's just something I've had several times before. So yeah, you know what? I'll give it a, I'll give it a seven out of ten. Burdock makes some good beers. I enjoy this one. I just, I've had it before. On so many different times. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for watching. Au revoir, Albiento. Bye bye.